When you start something like this and you hear the exhaust. Look at the tires on there. So if a vacuum goes out, there's a knob and you just spin it up. <laughs> I'm rocking the glasses today because I've been wearing contacts and my eyes are starting to bother me. So a little different look, huh? And I got a hat on, switching things up. What's going on the Get This Nick gang? It is your boy Nick at the Get This Nick channel. We are back with another video. We're pumping them out. We're going back to the shop today. 1972 Dodge Charger 440 Magnum in that Hemi orange color. I gotta go check it out. You know I gotta go check it out. I am also waiting on a piece to come in for this gimbal that I have. Those of you who don't know, this kind of stabilizes your phone when you're filming. So I'm waiting for one more piece so I can actually attach my phone. It's like a magnet clip thing. And uh, then we should be able to use this to get a little bit steadier footage. Ain't that right, Bobo Baggins? No, you're not messing with it. Good old Lincoln Town Car. Look at her sitting pretty, huh? 20 years old. And she is still just, she's the best. Where we at? Oh, we're almost at 38,000 miles. We need some gas too, we're getting low again. Almost 38K on the LTC. Man, not only is it freezing outside, but it is windy. I am getting blown all over the place and not the good way, you know what I mean? I'm getting just tossed around on this road because this wind is next level stuff right now, man. It's crazy, the windy city. And really quick, as I'm driving to the shop, I got a question for you guys. You guys know in my videos, I will always try to ask you something to get some sort of dialogue going in the comments. The last video I asked you guys about the gas prices on where you're at, this video, I got some different. I don't know if any of you guys saw it yet, but there's a couple dealerships across the United States that are doing this crazy, crazy deal. And it's been like weighing on my mind a lot. Basically what it is, is they take a 2024 base model F-150. So the single cab with the steel wheels work truck. It is the absolute stripped down base model. They option it with a V8, 5.0 liter V8 from Ford, and then they slap a Whipple supercharger on it, and it makes like 700 horsepower, right? In a base model truck, and they charge you like just under $50,000 for it. So basically for a little under 50 grand, you are getting a brand new vehicle with 700 horsepower, and it's all under a factory warranty. A lot of people are saying that's still not a good deal, but I, truly I think it's a good deal because where else can you go to get a 700 horsepower vehicle for that kind of money? I mean, yeah, you could always build something and get like an older F-150 and, and do the work yourself and save some money, but you're not gonna have a warranty. I'm talking you could literally have a truck, zero miles, 700 horsepower for under 50 grand with a warranty covered what do we need a, do we need a new vehicle on this channel does your boy get this nick have to go out and buy a 700 horsepower f-150 with steel wheels on it come on talk to me here in the comments what am i doing Magnum in it. Let me pop that hood. See, you know what's so weird now? Seeing cars with chrome instead of black. Cause like, look, like, you know, motorcycles, cars, everything, the last however many years have always gone to phase show, out show chrome. How much and chrome trim is yeah, look, here. but it just we looks- We got the chrome bumpers, the chrome trim on the body. You got the chrome trim all around here, the windshield cowl. 
around all the and windows. it looks nice like it's it, great around the wheels, the wheels yeah everything. like it looks nice i'm a fan of chrome i know people think it's like old school and stuff but looks good yeah i'm a fan so what is this the 440 magnum yeah Man. It's got the classic Cranger wheels on it. Yeah, and you know what's so weird with this being a charger? Because, like, obviously this is way before our time, but, like... Two-door charger. You, what do you call it? Seeing how far it's come, you know what I mean? It's crazy to think about this compared to the newer ones. Oh. Charger, man. What do they have? Like a fake wood grain in here? Is that what that is? Yeah, like a simulated wood grain finish. You can see it's just like a vinyl. Right. In a sports car, though. Yeah, that's old school. That's like, yeah, that is old school. Because, like, what sports car do you know nowadays? Like, the new Chargers or Challengers, you can't get them with a wood grain. Chrome, that bright orange... Get the tires on there. And just the smell. It smells like a a, a go-kart. <laughs> That's what it smells like. Just the gas from like a go a gasoline go-kart. Crazy. It's actually kind of sad seeing stuff like this, also because all the hype that's going on right now with Dodge and how they're phasing out the Hellcats and they're doing all this last call stuff and they're making a push towards the EV. So like, Al, what do you, do you know about those new chargers? What are they doing? Is it a V6, a twin turbo? Yeah, they're doing a straight six cylinder with twin turbos. And a lot, I, I, was, I agree with what you said. It is sad because the newer generation doesn't appreciate the the roots and where it all came from and the original muscle car styling and this right here is just it's like a, this is a perfect example yeah. of it's got the Krager wheels it's got that burnt hemi orange paint job yeah this thing is like literally so like when you see like this is like classic american muscle like this is it the chrome the bright orange like Big yeah just like this is literally what america and like america's muscle know. car was like built you on i see something else that's really cool Go ahead. so these are these headlights flip up and it's vacuum assisted and when that like say the vacuum pump goes out right there's actually a knob right here yeah, you spin <laughs> it up and then there's the headlights but this one works the vacuum yeah, it does. So it'll automatically just like slide up? Like... Yep. Yep. Whoa, dude. How cool is that? Do it. Let me see you do it with the vacuum when you when you get it down all the way. And it'll just... Let's see if it works. Yeah, see if it... Because you just got to turn the battery on, right? Yeah, throw those lights on. Because th this thing has even fog lights on the bottom right here. No, you could see the light peeking out from like the little cracks right, in the side. But, but it's pointing obviously that way. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of I figured they didn't work. I remember when we had this car in last year. Yeah, no, but that that's cool how even, you know, they thought about an optional, what do you call it? To do it manually. High, yeah, well, yeah, if the pump goes out, you got to figure out a way to get your lights on. Right. But yeah, just like, like I was saying, man, so sad to see like, how do we go from this, you know, this crazy, like, this is just classic, dude, just vintage, like, American muscle to now. We're, and you'll see on Dodge's Instagram, when they post those new chargers, people in the comments are ripping them apart. They dude. don't like it. No, people are, and, and, like, I understand there's a lot of people out there, there's a lot of people out there that are like, hey, you know, like, the V6, it could be more power, more torque, it's better fuel, gas mileage and everything, and it's, it's a torque monster, and I get that, but when you start something like this and you hear the exhaust, 
There is just like, there's nothing like, same with this even, even the Mercedes that you guys saw in the last video. V8, twin turbo, AMG, you know, you start it and you like feel it in your chest. Like it just, there's something about that. Yes, there's like an electric vehicle might be able to smoke this torque off the line. You know, a Model S, the Plaid or whatever could smoke these cars, leave them in the dust, blow the doors off them. I get it. But you just cannot replace that sound, that feeling. Hey, let the folks know. There's no replacement for, for displacement. displacement. Yeah, exactly. It just like, it just, I, I guess it just depends what you want. If you don't care about sound and all that, like get an EV and go, you know, Elon Musk said he was doing something recently. He's doing a, uh, a car that can go zero to 60 in under one second is what he's claiming it's going to do, which is absolutely nuts. And it's cool. Don't get me wrong, but you know how I am on this channel and what I like guys, anything with a big motor, a V8, a supercharger, Turbo. right? Like I like, I just like big, huge engines that make loud sounds. That's just wow. me, right? <laughs> but I'm just, you guys know me, I'm nuts. But as always, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Me and Al, we'll see you on the next one. Amen. Peace.